hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes so everything is alleged so it's not and the fag use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it so i had to say something about this because this is so crazy it is some crazy people out here in this world y'all so young jock he is a rapper slash actor slash reality star all kind of stuff so anyway now he's on the radio station he hosts some kind of radio station he's one of the hosts or whatever and on this radio station you know people can call in and you know he try to help them get back with their exes you know so I guess when all hope is lost, they call him and he calls, you know, the ex and try to, you know, mend things. Okay. So y'all, this is so crazy. So he was doing his show and this guy calls in. As soon as this guy calls in, he tells him, you know, that, you know, this female that he was with, you know, she won't give him the time of day anymore or whatever. And he's really feeling her and this and that and that and this. Okay, y'all? So, young Jock calls this woman. Calls this woman, y'all. And he was trying to get them, you know, back together or see what was going on. Why she won't give him a chance again and this and that. And, you know, at first he didn't tell her that the guy was on the phone. All right? So, then the guy starts talking. Y'all, I'm going to let y'all listen to it, okay? Because this is crazy. Then the guy, you know, starts talking. And soon as the guy starts to talk, you know, and say, why, you know, you treat me like this, blah, 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 blah. Then she lets the cat out the bag of why that she did not want to be with him anymore. So apparently her brother was taken out, y'all. Her brother was taken out. And um, at a gas station or some something like that, that he was taken out. And she heard them bragging about it. The guys that, you know, the guy she was dating, him and his friends or whatever, they were bragging about taking some guy out at the gas station. Okay? And as they kept talking about it, she put the two and two together and she found out that they took out her brother. Now, y'all, make this make sense because if somebody found out and somebody was bragging about it that they took your brother out, why wouldn't she go to authorities and tell them? Why would she just stop dealing with him and go about her business? Okay? This is kind of crazy to me. This whole little thing is weird. And then, soon as she say, you know, the reason why she broke up with him because they was bragging about taking her brother out, he hangs up, y'all. Y'all gotta hear this. This is cray, cray, cray. So I'm gonna play it for you all so I can listen to it. But it's some weirdos out here in this world. For you to be trying to, you know, get back with this girl. Did he not know that that was her brother? Come on now, y'all. So this is somebody's demise on social media. You calling a radio station, and she let the cat out the bag, y'all. Is he locked up now? Because he should be. Okay? It's amazing how these guys brag about taking people out, y'all. I keep telling y'all, it's some weirdos out here. So, I just want to play this for y'all really, really quick. It's been a little minute. It's been a little while. Okay, so, it's your lady lady, or is it somebody you... Yeah. How long y'all been kicking? This is, this is my lady lady, man, for about a solid, like, six months. About the summer, six months. Mm. Y'all yeah. went to the kickback and she didn't call back. She didn't call back, man. Exactly, man. Is she okay? Oh, no. She okay? I mean, on social media, you still posting still or no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. She's still posting. She's still posting. And she ain't, you've texted? I mean, have you said anything on her? Social? Yeah, man, I try not to be too pushy, man, but I, 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 I text her. All right, well, okay, so this is what we're going to do. What's her name? Marie. Let's try to see if we can get your girl on the line and uh, see if we can find out what the hell going on, my boy. Please, thank you, bro. All right, put the phone on mute. Don't say nothing until we cue you in. Bro, I got to call Chief. He just don't know he called Chief. 
Might as well double one hit pop. Uh, one down. Yeah. Well, hey. Hello. Good morning, my sweet Marie. Uh, it's a What's up, Marie? I, I hear the hesitation in your voice. I, I know it's first thing in the morning. I'm this is real Young Jock and my dog, Shout Shout. Who wanted to know if we can talk to you this morning, Marie? Maybe put a Did I win something? I ain't gonna necessarily say you won, man. But we're just trying to make the world smile. You know what I'm saying? And basically, we got a segment on our show called The Second Date Update. And we just wanted to um, see if we could talk to you for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's all. 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 Yeah, that's so, are you familiar with a Don? Uh, I, mean, I know y'all not to call me about Don. Uh, Very young. This guy you've been dating for the last camp, past seven, eight, I six months? I was dating for the last, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he called us this morning. Apparently, he can't seem to get you on the phone. And that's probably for his benefit. Uh, you killed a share? Actually, I, I really don't want to talk about it. Now, we used all the problem now. We, we the professional. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, you know, people call us every morning. Yeah, you know, what we do now. We people don't want to talk. They be thinking, yeah. oh, I don't want to be embarrassed. But if it, even if you think it's something that is embarrassing, it's probably... Might be therapeutic for you to go and tell us what's happening for your soul. Mm. Not for your soul. <laughs> it's for your soul. Well, you know what? I think it's for the best interest. I don't go into details. Really, I can just end this call right now because I don't want to speak on it no more and I don't want to speak on no situation that involves Don. Mm. Sorry, no, 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 no. I'm, look, I'm here. This is Don. I'm on the line. I'm on the line. Oh, oh wow. Okay, well, I, we're going to tell you that part. Don is actually on the phone. Uh, you don't want to talk about it with Don. She's, mm. she's there, so I guess you try your best to talk to her. Marie, what's going on? I mean, what's really going on? You know, since we on the platform and you really want to know what's going on. I do. Uh, yes, I want to know exactly what's going on. I messaged you a few times, just young out, no response. Did he cheat, Marie? Did he cheat? No, he didn't cheat. Well, he was at the kickback. And you and your homeboys were in the kitchen talking about big boy gangster talk. Do you recall what y'all was talking about? A situation that happened in July 2020. Y'all was talking big boy talk. Y'all was talking the game to talk, but y'all did. So you don't recall what y'all was talking about at the keyboard? Yeah, um, no, I mean, unlike me. What, 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 what was they talking about? What were they talking about? So July 2020, they was talking about that they robbed the guy and they shot and killed him. You don't remember that, Don? Y'all was at the gas station. And oh, y'all shot oh. and killed. You remember that? Maria, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Maria. that was my brother that she was talking about. Oh, oh. The guy that you shot and killed, that was my brother. You like, yo. Hello? Hello. Um, Ain't no thank you. That sounds so serious accusations. Are you sure? I mean, oh, I, I don't want to question. I don't want to question because we all call it. Oh, I'm, I'm positive. They they was talking about the gas station that they was at and everything. How many times they shot him and just laughing and joking about the situation. And the whole time I'm putting pieces together, like hold on, they talking about sleep. They talking about my brother. And we have we we haven't even found the people that killed him. So now knowing that it was them. Yeah, I just, this is why I didn't want to talk about it on the radio, but I understand the platform is on, but I'm just in a, in a tough situation right now, because we've been dating, I actually like Don, but after finding out the situation, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, first and foremost, we want to tell you that, you know, we're sorry for your love. So y'all hear it. The guy that took her brother out, they were bragging about it at some kind of picnic or something. And this is how she found out who took her brother out. The guy that she was dating and some of his homeboys, they're the ones that took her brother out. So why not tell authorities? Why just break up with them and go on about your business? Why not tell authorities? 
Now, I hope when she got off of that call that she called the police and let them know everything. Because if she don't, her life is in danger right now. So I hope that she got enough sense to contact authorities because she is a witness to them bragging about taking her brother out. Okay, y'all? And they could possibly come a-looking for her now to shut her up so that him and his homeboys that was at the picnic don't all go down for her brother's demise. Okay, y'all? This is crazy. This world that we're living in. Small, small, small world. When it comes down to you dating somebody and then you find out that person you're dating took your brother out. This is crazy. Okay, but I have to play that for y'all. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.